Christmas time, I always roast the whole bird. The good thing about that is you get great value for money, but also you get lots and lots of nice leftover bits. So for instance, here we've got leftovers, stuffing that I love and chopped turkey breast meat. Any part of the turkey will work. And here is a dish that I'll use most of those things in it. So the ingredients you're gonna need are turkey and stuffing, onions, garlic, a bit of flour, milk and cream. You don't have to use the cream, I just add a bit of cream to make it slightly richer. Dijon mustard, cooked macaroni, breadcrumbs and cheese. First thing to do is to soften the onions. So, a couple of tablespoons of oil into a nice deep pan. One small onion, in that goes. And two cloves of garlic, chopped as well. Not what you'd normally get in a macaroni cheese, but it does give a nice background flavour. So what you need to do is cook the onions for a couple of minutes and the garlic just to soften slightly. We're not browning, we're just gonna soften slightly. At this point, a couple of minutes, I'm adding two to three tablespoons of flour just to soak up the oil. In that goes. One, two, and perhaps two and a bit. Now, what I don't like is the macaroni and cheese to be really tight and, and thick. I like it to be quite soft especially when we're going to brown it in the oven, so don't go mad on the flour. That will just soak up the oil perfectly like so. And then all I do is chuck the milk and the cream in together. You don't have to worry about mixing it bit by bit. And just stir that up to a boil. Once that's come to the boil, a couple of tablespoons of Dijon mustard, cooked macaroni, turn the gas off, and finally the stuffing and the cooked turkey. In that goes. The salt, the pepper, or oh, the pepper, love pepper. And there should be just enough sauce there, and not too thick either, just to coat the macaroni, because so it's nice and light. And you'll probably find, as you cook it, and warm it up, the macaroni will soak up some of the sauce, and also go inside the macaroni. And that is about perfect. Tip it into a suitable dish or tray. Don't waste it, all goes in. And you just pat that down slightly, don't go too mad, you want to keep it nice and light. Then I'm going to add a little bit of cheese, any cheese you like, this is cheddar, and a few breadcrumbs piled in the middle like so, and then we'll just spread those out. And that goes into hot oven or under a grill just to glaze, probably for about 10-15 minutes. There are many ways you can use up cooked turkey. Bones for soup or stock, risotto, bubble and squeak, mac and cheese, it's endless. The cooked meat will keep for a couple of days in the fridge. If not, freeze and use at a later date. After about 15 minutes in hot oven or under a grill, it will look like this. And look at that. Now there are many ways you can use up leftover turkey, but this, this is one of my favourites.